All right, guys, here's the deal. One 64 millimeter turbo lift. I might have just, you know, I guess wrong. I thought everyone would be like, give me that 88. Let's call our winner from today. As you guys know, putting one random turbo in one order every single day of the month of freedom. Today from Alva, Florida. Oh, Florida. We have Caden C. Oh, These Florida guys. Oh. Hello? Hey, man, this is all Riley's. Cleater, is that you? Oh, <laughs> brother. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. Okay, which turbo you wanna see on a Crown Vic at Cletus and Cars? <laughs> 76. You wanna see a 76 on a Crown Vic? Yeah, I wanna see a 76 <laughs> on a Crown Vic. Right, send me a 76. All right, bro. I'm, I got you, Kaden. All right, buddy, thank you. Thank you. 76 going out in his order. Guys, hit up CleasemanFrawn.com after the video. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the CleasemanFrawn YouTube channel. Month of freedom. Pete, what the hell are you doing down here, brother? I got some special, I don't know, treats here. Gadgets? Yeah. <laughs> These are for Leroy? These are for Leroy, yeah. Wow, brother. All right, well, give us the rundown. I know we got mast heads, which everyone in the shop's been raving about. Right, this is the mast, uh, the largest cathedral port they got. So if you see, they got a, just a oh massive. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, looks like a square port, but it's not. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so I've never seen them. 295 cc huge port yeah know, 2250 intake valve and a 160 exhaust this is like big block stuff oh yeah <laughs> brilliant copper seats james you sure that ain't a big block set up oh, right this there? is the, the <laughs> skipping 690 660 tune up right there right. yeah so yeah, yeah. we were uh, a little power limited on leroy we're running him on the absolute ragged edge to go that 701 and obviously we hurt the motor up at world cup when pete was there so we hit up pete we're like brother we need more horsepower and what are you, what's all going on with Leroy's engine? What's well, the game we're, plan? We're, the game plan, we're actually gonna make it smaller. We're gonna destroke it, bore be pretty much the same. Yeah, uh, the rods are all trash in it, The right? rods are trash, so we'll have different rods that hopefully are gonna be a lot stronger so we can really put the boost to them. Yeah, aluminum? Alum no, steel. Steel rods, boost okay. Line. Yep, I use them in quite a bit of stuff, it makes a ton of yeah. power. And then these heads, solid roller, steel rockers. <laughs> Dude, these things are crazy. Yeah, yeah, big and, power uh, and the plan is a lot of RPM. A lot of RPM, so turn it, turn it, turn it. how much RPM are you thinking? Well, I, I don't want to go crazy, but nine, you know. You Shifting it at 9,000? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Crazy, just nine. Ten All if right. we have to. Right. Ten if we ten, have to ten, ten, ten. in the finals. Yep. So Pete's putting together Leroy's engine right now. Big thanks to Mast Heads for setting us up with these things. This is probably the craziest LS head I've ever seen. And the yeah. deck. You know it's the, the deal. deck is thick. Yeah, for Cathedral Port, these things are just crazy. Yeah. It's huge. All right, so when do you think we'll have our engine done? Hopefully before long, we're waiting on rockers is the biggest thing. They're steel, okay. so they take a while. But. All right, and then we'll slap it together and run a 680. That's right. Just skip 690s. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip all that all together. Okay, <laughs> all right, <laughs> sounds good. Leroy is good to go right now, so I think we're gonna head to the track pretty soon here and get some suspension stuff sorted out, make it work really good. And then before we just lean on it and hurt that engine again, we're gonna slap in this engine from Pete and hopefully get this thing going. So we got the heads, we're just missing a couple other pieces of the pie. Rip's got a sticker. Uh, go ahead. Gap sauce. He's got the gap sauce. <laughs> and then uh, we'll be on our way to running them six. Well guys, the old toter is back in town and we gotta get this thing unloaded because it's finally going back to right trailers to get repaired. It's been on the road for about three weeks now with the Danger Ranger and Indy, but it's back at the shop, so let's pull it up. We can get some cars out. Look at that, it survived, man. Oh man, that don't look very good. Does it run? Hey, hey, bud. Big box here, bud. This box is for for me? For you, brother. Holy cow. Yeah. This is a large box. Open it. <laughs> I would open it. It's not gonna do you much. Oh, yeah. I just hope it's not another jet boat to well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of bulkies. <laughs> Grab that side yet. Ooh, brother. 
Holy Toledo, oh, dude. Oh Brand welding. new welding table, brother. Dude, this is an upgrade. But guess what? <laughs> yeah, shuttle. yeah, it is a little bit. Dude, I made that one myself, though. Dude, it's homemade. This thing goes up and down. It's basically a chassis table. table. It's it might. Got electric motors. This is a power lift welding table. So this thing lifts 2,100 pounds. Ooh. This thing can raise up and down. So I can this thing use is it to sick. take the yeah. rear end out of Leroy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Leroy you, could, Donnie. you could use it to pull Leroy a transmission out of a car, or you could use it to lift the entire car. So Inventive Products, they reached out and they're like, bro, Ty does a lot of welding. You guys got to get him a table. And I was like, you know what? You're right. They helped us get set up with this thing. And they're actually also offering you guys 5% off and free shipping on one of these tables. They have several different options, but 5% off free shipping, that's a solid deal. You gotta use code Cletus5 at checkout, and that's only available till the end of July. So let's roll this thing off and fire it up. Hit the ramps. Holy crap, that is sick. So he can put it in header mode when he's gonna be sitting there for a couple hours. <laughs> Or he can put it in tack up mode where yeah. he's just gonna be in and out, you know? And then he can lower it and sleep on it. So he, can, he doesn't have to go home anymore. He can just stay in well. Thing ever. <laughs> it's like a futon. Yeah. And then he, he can actually raise it up and Zach can sleep under it. <laughs> no one's out of the home anymore. You know, Cleeter's just gonna max yeah, it out so right after a bit. Around the shop now. Yeah. yeah. You got a table that goes high enough. Ty's gonna put like a cage around us so we can't like burn it or something. Yeah, I'm gonna come out here and weld a header to the, to the table. Put an electric fence around Holy crap, dude, dude this, this is nice. Going, huh? This is chest yeah. height. Damn, that's pretty good. The Holy crap. Like who's looking shrinking. down to talk to who? When you gotta come yeah. tack something up, you know? Get on my level. What are you gonna do to season your table, dude? We're gonna rub her down with some WD 40. I got some blackstone grease. Get to welding on it. Some grill you know, grease. Get dude, some grill what grease. If we going. like heat it up. <laughs> All right, guys. Dude. We have uh, arguably the most used and abused vehicle in the whole fleet outside of Neighbor. I don't know. Is this more abused than Neighbor? Oh, yeah. Okay. Have you ever jumped Neighbor? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got major, major structural issues with the dew boat. Ty, give them the news. Just show them, show them what we got going here. Got a lot of things that unwelded themselves over the years. So obviously you guys know that we've been taking this thing around the country, right? And uh, just beating on it. Jumping logs, jumping rocks. <laughs> sinking it. Brother, we got, we got water in the boat, bro. Oh, Let's get this boogie board out of here. And I welded this boat together myself. Actually, this is Ty's first job ever for us was yeah, working on these on. boats. Just t take a gander in there. Just, Come in here. Just zoom in right there. This entire stringer, <laughs> broken free. Hold giant on. dents in it. Look at this. Broken weld, broken weld. Look at the gap, broken weld. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that stringer's good, dude. That one's. This one's broke down both sides. Oh, look you on this bowed, side, too. So yeah. This whole stringer's bowed up so much that it ripped the motor mount on that stringer. Oh, look at the motor mount. Yeah. So your motor's oh, yeah, she's motor, motor mount bro. broke. So we got some- Motor mount broke. <laughs> Come yeah, up they're, here, they're broke up here. Come up here, look. Oh, you broke Oh, everywhere. man. Broken don't weld. Skip, don't skip that one. Broken weld. Huge broken weld over here. That stringer's bent and bowed yeah. with a broken weld. Also, if you look down the side of the boat, you somehow tacoed the whole the whole boat. The it's boat's got bent. a bow to it. It's probably why it's so fast. <laughs> the boat is bent. The boat is bent. No, that's supposed to be like that. I think. Yeah, no, I welded it together like that. <laughs> I'll slap it on the lift and get underneath it real quick. <laughs> the whole idea of this project started and why we pour into it. Ty's shirt. <laughs> Ty's got the perfect shirt on for this that's job. Great. These boats is what made this shirt. I've been, I did build this myself. And that might be part of the reason why it's falling apart, but I think most of it's from my driving. And I got lazy and I stitched the stringers. We're gonna fully weld them now. But the whole reason we wanted to do this is because of what's underneath, which we're gonna show you right now. And then, and then Ty went in there to undo some bolts so we could get the bottom off. 
and we started pulling the engine out and then we're like, holy crap, this thing, this thing might be totaled. That T word is, is hard to hear. Ah, oh, I'm gonna this leave This thing's that. arguably worse than the Blazer. Come on, man. Yeah. But it is the toughest boat I've ever seen in my entire life, that's for sure. You're damn right. That is for sure. All right, go up, boys. All right, I'm under. Got the boat on the lift. I'll be darned. There you go, bud. You got your boat on the lift. Yeah. Professional. It's not for good reasons, you know? No, that's true. All right. Oh, boy. So I thought that this was part of the issue of why, like, when I turn the boat, it cavitates really bad. Uh -huh. And I think that is definitely some of the issue. Could but then, big, that's a big then I realized that there's this big dent here. Yeah, that is the opposite direction you want the boat. <laughs> so I think maybe this is like making air. It probably is. On a jet ski, there's actually a little bump that comes down to help. Right, this, the water. this big dent. What about this dent? <laughs> that might also be it. <laughs> or this one. Or it could be that dent. This is pretty aggressive. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> That's a rough one. I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and guess it happened in Idaho. I mean, <laughs> it might fair guess. call me crazy, but we had some pretty solid pumps out there. All right, anyways, the situation is, now that Ty has a new welding table, he's gonna fix his boat for me in a day. I mean, Perfect. 30 minutes. This is no big deal. I got but a new haul on the way. Really, the deal is <laughs> we want to fix this so we can go back to Idaho. My boat is basically total. James' boat's good, has an engine issue. We're gonna fix this. We have a new bottom from Jetstream, and then we're gonna load the boats onto the double trailer, take them down to Julio, JP Racing, get them dialed in, soup them up a little bit more. Then we go back and we go up the Howard's Plunge. Yes. That's the plan. Can you guys think of a single thing that could go wrong? Not a single, no. I mean, it's the redemption trip. It's the redemption trip. So, yeah, it's redemption, you can't, nothing can go wrong. And our goal is to catch a sturgeon, a sturgeon larger than the boat. A so, true river monster. Yeah, a real <laughs> river monster. The next step is Ty does a lot of stuff that Ty does, and then we execute the plan, okay? Anything I'm missing there, guys? Does this stomp grate even come down? Uh, no, you oh, aluminum's under you it. it. Oh, look at my, look at my aluminum yeah, folded over my stomp that. grate. So, you know, we got a couple things to fix. She's just, she's been a trooper though. This boat has been incredible. I want to thank Jetstream for building such a great kit. A little bit of clearance, clearance, a little bit of banging and pounding, a little bit of banging and pounding. This is a Some large new... dent right I, I honestly think I remember exactly when you made that dent. I can't think of a time when that happened. Yeah, I believe I was in I drive this boat so safely. I have never safely. seen you hit anything ever in this boat, ever. Exactly. Yeah. You baby it, you know? I baby it and it's just destroyed. Looks better than I thought it would, I'll tell you that. Time you let George drive it? <laughs> no, yeah, you know what it was? Is I, I had yeah. Ty pull it on the trailer. That's yeah. what it was. Oh, yeah, I think he hit the trailer. I think he spark. dropped it off. It it definitely wasn't when we just crashed it down the beach to get it into the water in Idaho. Because no, we dude. didn't have a trailer. No, nah, <laughs> dude. That was sand, dude. It slides on sand. All right, well, anyway, the jet boat almost totaled. Not totaled. It will be back. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Is it totaled? Yes. Is it a total loss? No, we have time. See you in a week, bud. <laughs>